Now, I, I do want to bring this up, Nelson, and have you address it. We've got a few people that still may be a bit iffy on how lists work. And with knowing that, they're curious about, well, how do you know what's, what price is associated with what product? Since you've got these in these two pieces of data that are related but are being stored in two entirely different uh, variables. Sure. Um, product, uh, or sorry, lists are nice because they are ordered. Now, not every collection is ordered, but lists are. And that means that they behave just like arrays in that every single unique value inside of this variable, this product names variable, is indexed to a particular number. That index starts at zero. So the first product names is at index zero. Every time, I, as long as I add both of the names and prices at the same time, these lists will grow in size in the same way, meaning that I can use their index to associate the name with the price. So for example, the first time this loop executes and we enter in a product name and a product price, the item name and the item price will be added to the product names and the product prices variable in such a way that they'll both share the same index of zero. The second time the while loop executes, when we add another item to both product names and product prices, that item will share the index of one and so on and so on. So we're associating the data by the nature of how lists work. And again, lists are ordered. So every single item that you add to it will be added at a particular index. And then the next item that you add will be, always be added to the index after that index and so on and so on. Does that make sense? Um, yeah.